Hello everyone and welcome back. It's your girl Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury. On today, we are going to go over a few Q&As and I am also going to give you guys an update on my Jumbo Diana Gucci bag. Sad news. But before we get started, make sure you view my past videos, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. of the day and also a simple sleigh this button down is from tj maxx i tied it up in the front and i paired it with some pleather leggings that i purchased from fashion nova and this is the handbag the christian dior delight tote love having this handbag in my collection i've worn her i would say three or four times my favorite part is the feet at the bottom and i love the creativity on this bag and the added charms here the dior charm here beautiful beautiful handbag if you do have this in your collection please let me know in the comments how is the wear and tear i noticed you know just some of the threading unraveling and i like i said i haven't worn her a lot basically the wear and tear is coming up on this bag just sitting in my collection and i'm really not understanding that so if you are having an issue let me know in the comments but i do love having this bag i love carrying her and i get compliments every time i do carry so that beautiful baby is the handbag of the day and i also wore it with the matching flat mules and in christian dior just like lv i go up half a size and so this is a 37 i wear a 36 and a half usually and so i love having these as well so this was the outfit of the day with the handbag okay so guys let's move on because this is going to be a lengthy video because it's basically q a and i need to go over this issue that just happened with my jumbo diana from gucci guys i am so hurt <laughs> i noticed it yesterday if you guys can see once i turn it over you can see it from a distance you see the leather here is chipping and it's basically from the tote handle from the bamboo tote handle they this bag does where is it i had it up here okay so originally this bag comes with a leather strap to where it goes around the bamboo tote pictured here i don't wear this all the time i've worn this i would say three times now and if my outfit doesn't have red in it or if it doesn't go right with my outfit i am going to take it off and so my option is to carry it as a tote i don't want to carry it as a crossbody i don't want to carry it as a shoulder bag because it does come with a longer strap i love tote handles and so i felt like it wouldn't be an issue because i didn't carry it out for a long period i just basically wore it for like two or three hours and i noticed yesterday and i didn't wear the bag yesterday but i noticed when i was just going through looking at my handbags this was here and it's also chipping here at the top and i don't know how to feel about that guys well i know how to feel i'm hurt <laughs> but i just uh i haven't had this bag with like two weeks now and i also noticed like even the inside threading as well so when i received the bag guys it wasn't defective i i checked over the bag and so that bamboo tote handle this bamboo tote handle it's a problem so you have to basically keep the handles down or keep this strap on just to protect the top leather trimming i am so hurt by this so guys let me know in the comments if you have this handbag if you have experienced any issues of wear and tear so early at the beginning because i am distraught by this i haven't had it 30 days so i am going to reach out to gucci to see what can be done 
but I'm not happy at all, okay? So I just wanted to bring that to light and let you guys know and give you a little update on that. And yes, for me, that's not a good look um, with me purchasing from Gucci at all. So just wanted to give an update. I have my handy dandy notes. I wrote down the top questions, basically the questions that were actually repeated over and over again. So I'm going to get those out the way. And I love my notebook. <laughs> I love my notebook. And so I'm going to scratch that out. We went over the Gucci being damaged. Okay, the YSL update. Okay, <sighs> the YSL update at the moment, guys, the only bag that I am interested in purchasing from YSL right now is the Cassandra handbag. YSL, they, they're not like LV, guys. They don't have these collections that come out like every two weeks, every month, okay? And so most of the handbags in YSL I have saw in person. The Sunset handbag was, I think, my last purchase from YSL, if I'm not mistaken. But I am into the Cassandra and the Nikki at the moment. You know, the Nikki more than the Cassandra. I love the Nikki. I just love the look as a crossbody and an everyday handbag because that's what I love now. I love everyday handbags that I can just go in my closet pick out and don't have to worry about it. a handbag that doesn't have a shadow would be my first pick but also a handbag that I can wear with any outfit okay so basically the design and the color and so um the Nikki base is a solid color perfect as a crossbody it holds a large amount which is something that I like and the material is very very flexible so it'll be the Nikki and then the Cassandra handbag from YSL and you guys also want to know about the large tote, the YSL tote. Yes, she's still here in my collection, but you have to be careful with this bag. This bag must be hung up at all times or laid flat. And I do have her stuff. So this is the stuffing that came with the bag. So I do keep her stuff to remain and keep the shape. I'm not going to sell this bag, but um, I just want this bag to stay looking as beautiful as it was when I received I did notice one time I set the handbag down, it started creasing here and I freaked out. <laughs> I freaked out guys. And so the crease was there for like about 24 hours and I basically just set it, you know, as a show, once you walk in my closet and I set it up against the wall, the next day it was creased. I was like, oh no, I stuffed, I pushed the stuffing down. I got the shape together and it's it honestly this is where it hangs okay so let me take my hand back down <laughs> of the day and hang this beauty back up but I do love having this in my collection very beautiful bag I would say right now this is my favorite bag from YSL love this bag I want to take it with me guys when I go out of town but I just I don't know I don't want to damage anything because i also noticed guys on my large handbags as you guys can see let me know if you have this issue you see if i set it down it creases the leather creases i have it on the go tote pm i have the mm no creasing at all and i had this stuff i just took it out so i can show you guys because this is a beautiful handbag but look at the crease you see and I hardly wear this bag. It just sits in my closet. So, anyone have this issue? Like, what is going on with me and having issues with the handbag? The Christian Dior, the Gucci. I mean, it's from LB, Gucci, and Christian Dior. Uh, and I don't wear my handbags like that. So, if you have this issue with the creasing and the bending, and it is. It's from me sitting the bag down. Because, you see... When I push it in as if I'm sitting it down, it creases. So maybe I need to create hmm, a baseboard. A baseboard for the on-the-go toe gym. But I do love this handbag. I do not want you guys to think that it, this happens all the time. It could be something that I'm doing wrong. So still go and purchase if you want. But I'm just showing you guys what I'm having issues with. Okay. So let's get into the next question. The next question is about the LV Meta bag. And if I am pronouncing it wrong, I know how you guys are in the comments. So I do apologize, but this is the Meta handbag. 
I purchased this, I believe, like a year or two ago. I think it was in 2019. I'm not sure. But I did purchase this handbag. It was very large at that time against my body frame. And my husband was like, no, babe, that's just so, that's just large. But I wasn't into big handbags. I wanted to try it out. The Neverfull at that time was like my biggest handbag. And so I purchased the Maida. My favorite part is that braided top handle. Guys, that top handle is so beautiful. I actually took it off and added it to my Odeon MM. It took the Odeon MM to a, another level, guys. <laughs> it was so gorgeous. But I did return it only for my sister to tell me, you shouldn't have returned that bag. You need that in, my, in your collection. She's a flight attendant. She purchased when she was in Florida. So... I have the Maida handbag back in my collection only for her to come and take it back and ask to wear it because she said, I don't wear my handbags enough. <laughs> so I do still have it, but it's just not in my possession anymore. So basically, I guess she bought it for me to have for herself. I don't know. But I honestly have like 15 handbags that's just out floating around between my mom and my sister and my best friend. They're just out there. But I love the simple fact they can just come in my closet. They don't have to lease. They don't have to buy. Basically, they can come in here and grab what they want. So, hey, that makes me happy. But the made a handbag. If you are thinking to purchase, go ahead and purchase. Because if you are a, if you love large bags, I would say that. Because it is large. I'm only going for my, my body frame, me being 5'4". It's, it's large. That is a large handbag. I have the on the go to GM, I have the never pull GM, but for some reason I was carrying it as a tote. I tried the crossbody way, and my husband, he didn't like the bag at all. I thought the bag was beautiful. So I would say go and purchase. Me, I don't know. Would I repurchase? I didn't repurchase. So my sister did for me. So I don't know if I would repurchase or not, guys. It's just not something that's like at the top right now that I'm even thinking about. But a lot of you guys ask about it. But if that's something that you want, go and grab it. Okay, what handbags wouldn't you purchase again? I would say every handbag in my collection, I purchased for a reason. You know, I don't have any regrets. But if I were to walk in LV, I wouldn't purchase a double zip pochette only because I just feel like I can't, it doesn't hold enough. Like I'm okay with small crossbodies, but for some reason the double zip doesn't hold what I need it to hold. I have worn this before, especially like when I go to Vegas, here's a picture. I've worn it before, but this isn't something that I will go and spend my money on if I saw it. And to me, it's just not too appealing. It's, it's plain basically okay so this isn't something that i will go and purchase the only reason i have not sold my double zip pochette i did sell the christmas edition the 2020 christmas edition i did sell that i i'm not selling this one because my daughter actually loves this print she loves the damier azure print and she also loves the double zip pochette and i have a double zip pochette in reverse monogram and you guys know i love reverse monogram and so um, I'm not going to sell that either, but I would not go and repurchase. This is only my opinion, okay? Okay, and so you guys want to know on the update on how do I feel about my Sack Plaque PM. I show that bag off on my page all the time, guys. I love the Sack Plaque. This is so bossy 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 so i do love this and for some reason i always want to say sack plaque mm because i just i just feel like this is too big to be a pm but it also comes in a bb that's why and so i do have the petite sack plaque this is the first one that came out the first sack plaque that came out and i love this i love this little sack plaque the petite sack plaque my daughter enjoys carrying it as well so this is the petite and this is the PM and it also comes with a BB. It's just, you know, a bit smaller, but for some reason, I always want to say MM, but I do enjoy having this in my collection, the beautiful cherry red interior. And it also has a wide long zipper 
inside but i love to decorate her i love to add my bag charms my gold chain straps i wish it had the feet at the bottom because it is a large tote but and then the vachetta i have no issues with this at all and i love that it comes with a uh, monogram uh strap it doesn't come with a vachetta strap it comes with a monogram strap that is on i believe some other bag <laughs> but i love having this in my collection and i love decorating so if you are thinking about purchasing i would say go ahead and purchase and move forward i'm not sure how much i pay for it does it have a price in here yes the sack plaque pm was two thousand five hundred and seventy dollars and my husband actually picked this out for me because i was not looking at this when we went to the galleria i wasn't even paying attention and he was like no babe this is a boss bag and so i call her bossy so again two thousand five hundred and seventy dollars product code number is m four five eight four eight go and purchase you will love having this in your collection okay so let's move along the next what was your most expensive purchase the most recent expensive purchase okay i'm not sure if you guys are just talking about handbags um but i would say probably the jumbo gucci diana that was 3500 that's the actually most recent but if you are talking about in general in my life I would say um, last week, we just basically closed on a house that we used to live in. You know, before we got to the point to where we are now, that house, it just meant so much because that was the time where we actually got it right. After being evicted, after, you know, moving around from house to house, going to our mom, that house was actually the longest period that me and my husband kept a house and was able to maintain and my kids had memories there and so we were renting that house out able to get our finances together able to get our credit together and so we just had memories there guys and so once the seller put it up for sale because he was leasing it out we just closed last week and so we are going to go and fix the house up and then we are going to lease it out and rent it out and i'm just so happy because that is something that's going to be passed down to my kids so the most recent handbag purchase uh the most expensive was the jumbo diana and the most recent purchase the most expensive in my life as of right now was last week just closing on another house yay okay let's see because you guys asked so many questions okay you guys want to know about youtube how do i feel about youtube now and would you suggest having a youtube channel i tell you guys this all the time i highly suggest you guys to get on youtube if you are good at makeup you should be on youtube if you do hair if you have a certain talent that can help the world get on youtube get on youtube guys a lot of you i'm not sure maybe camera shy i don't know a lot of you worry about the comments me i don't i i really don't i love my subscribers but guys you have to mentally <laughs> check yourself like you probably would never meet most of these people so why worry about what they say now i can understand you being camera shy a lot of you guys say it's weird just to sit here and talk to a camera but for me i enjoy it i'd rather sit here and talk to a camera honestly than talk to a, a room full of people this is my comfort zone this is what what i like to do and when i started my youtube it was not to make money if you go back to my first youtube <laughs> videos you can tell it was not to make money guys this actually had to grow on me i wasn't even showing my face i didn't even know how to do the correct like angles on how to even have the camera straight i had to keep starting over my whole reasoning behind starting a youtube channel was it was an outlet for me 
and I just couldn't find what I needed to find on YouTube. I couldn't find what I was looking for. And so I felt, if I feel this way, I know other, you know, other subscribers feel the same way. And so I basically just got on YouTube to provide handbag details and it grew within three weeks, guys, three weeks, I was monetized. And so I actually brought something to YouTube that people were looking for. And so that's it. Whatever talent that you have and whatever you feel that you're good at, that you can share with the world, get on YouTube and share it. Get on YouTube and share it, guys, okay? So we have one more question because I didn't want the video to be extra, extra long. So it might be a part two. You guys want to know my honest opinion on the LB Pochette Matisse. So my honest opinion on the Pochette Matisse is you need to get this bag. You need to have this bag in your collection. I just feel like if there's any LB handbag that is out now, you should have a never pull and there's three bags no 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 it's four bags it's four bags okay it's four bags can we can we can we talk about this it's four bags a never full you need in your collection yes you do yes you do yes you do at least one never full a classic never full okay not the exclusive the colorful handbags a classic monogram dame bean dame azure you need a never full in your collection you need a speedy in your collection if it's a speedy bandolier, just a regular speedy, I don't care what size, you need a speedy in your collection. You need an Emma. I would say an Emma, ugh, PM or BB. I would say a BB because a lot of people don't like the larger sizes, the PM size. They also come in the MM size. Um, I love PM and the BB. I love the PM more. So you need a never pull, a speedy, an Emma, and you also need a pochette Matisse. Yes, you do. The glazing issues, I do understand. I just thank God I never had an issue with that. But once you get a, get the Pochette Matisse and it's in perfect, I mean, it's perfect to your eye, great quality, no glazing issues, keep that handbag. I feel like that handbag is going to be discontinued like the bum bag. I keep saying this. I keep saying it. So make sure... You guys, go back to this video. If it happened, I'm telling you now, I believe the Pochette Matisse is going to be discontinued. Why I feel this way is just something that I feel in my heart. I have both, okay? I have the monogram and I have the reverse monogram. I love, I love, love the Pochette Matisse. Holds a great amount of items. I mean, it holds so much, guys. I know you're like, oh my God, what about the Passy? You guys know how I feel about the Passy. A lot of you guys don't agree with the Passy. And I understand because the strap, if you want to carry it as a crossbody, it's not long. LV did miss the mark on that as far as the Passy handbag. But the monogram strap that comes with these bags, it can be adjusted. It's detachable. You can wear it on other handbags. This is a very, very unique creation, and I love having it in my collection. Guys, these are my babies. I'm, sometimes I don't understand because sometimes I'll have handbags in my collection, and I can just come in and look at them and honestly really, really fall in love, guys. I love my handbags. I, I do. I know a lot of you guys are like, hey, they're just handbags, but I love my handbags. I am very blessed. I'm very blessed to have these handbags in my collection. And I don't know, I got teary-eyed for a little bit, guys, because you work so hard, you know. The, I love luxury. I, my mom said I was like, I love dressing up. I was like this since I was like four years old, guys. I used to look in the magazines and wish I could purchase certain things. And so, like, guys, if you get your hands on certain handbags, I mean, I, I just fall in love. I don't even know how to explain the feeling. I don't know, guys, but the Pochette Matisse, I love so much. I do. And I would say I did a video not too long ago speaking on my favorite bags, and Pochette Matisse wasn't one of them. But then now that I reflect and I look and I actually use the handbags, I'm like, man, this there's nothing wrong with this handbag. Like, it's a perfect 10. I love the zipper in the back. It holds my phones, both phones, guys, and it runs pretty deep. 
the inside. I love how you go in and out the clap here, in and out. Guys, the inside, the microfiber material inside, and it's so flexible. Guys, this is an awesome, awesome bag. It holds so much. And I honestly forgot about this back pocket here. So you have the back pocket, you have this area here in the back, and then you have the front. This is amazing. This is an amazing handbag. So if you don't have the Pacheva Tees, you need one in your collection. I know a few, got, a few of you guys are going to come in the comments. No, the issue, the glazing issues. Yes, I understand. That can happen with any handbag. The Pacheva Tees is known for having quality issues. But if you get a Pacheva Tees and it's of perfect quality, guys, keep the handbag. Okay? Because I feel it's going to be discontinued. And so, guys, I am... One more question, and that's it, because it's a lot of questions. The update on the YSL denim. This is my baby. This is my home girl. Okay? <laughs> I love this handbag. I do, guys. No, I don't wear her often because I'm wearing other handbags, but this is one of my favorites in my YSL collection. So, I love the denim puffer. This is the medium size. I think this, to me, honestly... The medium is the better size it comes in a small and a medium and at one point you couldn't even get your hands on a medium because it was sold out but i would say this is probably number two after my large you know what no because i love the lulu i'm not going to even put them in order because all of my ysl bags are fire okay they're fire <laughs> but this is ranked very very high and it's ranked very very high in my collection I love the YSL denim puffer. If you do have the size medium, you understand. We are here. So the update, I love. Yes, I wish you would have feet at the bottom. That's on all my handbags. But guys, it doesn't take away from the handbag. I love it as a crossbody and I also love it as a tote. So great job, YSL. Very, very creative. I love, love this handbag so guys um like i said i don't want this video to be extra extra long i love talking to you guys i love giving you guys um handbag insights i just love talking about handbags i love being positive i love just talking about life in general we need more of that here i love the community the handbag community that i am in i love my subscribers guys and we are almost at 19k subscribers once we reach that 20k once i reach that 20k giveaway time of course i don't know what i'm going to give away but it's coming because i love you guys so very much <laughs> uh, okay and so i do have um i believe one or two more handbags that i am going to sell and i do put them in my stories on instagram and so if you're not on instagram i do apologize uh, but that's where they're posted in my stories. And I also am selling my shoes, my time out sneakers and um, any more sandals. And also these babies here are for sale. So if you wear between a 36 and a 36 and a half, a six, six and a half. Hey, if you are looking for some LV sneakers, I do have some for sale. Just send me an e uh, email or you can just contact me on Instagram, okay? So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys so much. As always, stay safe and stay blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.